Well, welcome back, everybody. We have artist Kathleen Rowling uh, joining us here. Uh, we just learned more about your, uh, you're going to be speaking with the North River Arts Council tomorrow night. And we asked you to kind of stick around to share uh, some, some of the different things that you work with and maybe offer up some guidance and takeaways for the people watching at home. But first, I want to ask you just um, talk about the role art and, and creating things on a regular basis, how that has, uh, you know, impacted your life, maybe personally mm -hmm. more so than the professional side of it. Oh, personally, I mean, it's just added joy yeah, <laughs> in every aspect so of my life. I mean, I can, uh, I'm grateful for this artistic gift that I've been given because I can make everything beautiful. Yeah. And uh, honestly, when things are beautiful, it just is easier to relax and enjoy life. Mm -hmm. So, and then talk about, so how long have you been working kind of professionally? Mm, technically, professionally since 2014, okay. but I would say I didn't like, it didn't really ramp up until 2016. Okay, <laughs> very nice, very nice. So you have a title that uh, you, it's with your chalk art, and yeah. we showed uh, a photo earlier of your exhibit that was there at the Iowa, very prominent at the Iowa State Fair mm -hmm. this past summer. And so tell everybody, your chalk, the Iowa's only chalk, I, but it's 3D, <laughs> there's more to it than just Iowa's only chalk artist. Yeah, yeah, I'm currently Iowa was only 3D professional chalk artist because um, there's I mean there's a lot of chalk artists out there we have contests and stuff but this is what I do professionally okay so, so can I talk about how what what drew you to working with chalk uh, well I've always been fascinated by color that's probably the first thing because okay. chalk is highly pigmented it's very exciting color wise mm -hmm. and I, I've always worked with soft pastels especially as a kid because I love color yeah. but then I got into uh, chalk art kind of by accident. <laughs> I stumbled upon it a little bit uh, because I met a friend who was actually a professional 3D chalk artist in Chicago and he was putting on this uh, contest in Chicago and I was in this process in this time of like I want to be a, an artist like I decided I'm gonna be an artist I'm gonna throw away all the other stuff that I was doing I had I was all over the place in my life, but I want to be an artist. And then I saw he was doing this contest. I'm like, you know what? I just need to do something to get out yeah. there and get out of my comfort zone. So I went and did this contest, and I ended up winning first place. And he was really impressed with my work, and he asked if I wanted to be mentored and was interested in learning how to do 3D chalk art. And I was like, yeah, yeah. that sounds awesome. And now <laughs> talk about the pieces that you create, because like the one at the State Fair, it, it just it goes away. It yes. Does, and, that, and that was like so much work that goes into that and then <gasps> it's gone. <laughs> uh, uh, it's kind of like, unfortunately, yeah, it does go away. But at the same time, that's kind of the purpose of it. It's meant for that event. It's okay. meant for that one time, um, that one time experience in those events. And it's, it's okay and it's easier to have that art because a lot of times you don't want a permanent piece of art like painted on the street forever and all the time because, uh, you know, the city owes that. Sure, but sure, But you can sure. actually ha have me come in and do a temporary piece that people can take pictures on and it's almost like the beauty of it. Get it in another it fashion. Yeah, so yeah. talk about the materials that working <clears> with <throat> chalk and maybe some of the recommendations for people at home that maybe want to experiment and get started mm -hmm. with some things. So I use a number of different materials. I this is I <laughs> love learning about new art supplies. It's chalk so it is a little messy but uh, this is the main um, material that I use in my pieces. Okay. This is the professional uh, chalk grade that I use. It's from eternitychalk.com. Okay, okay. If you're interested in so actually really getting the same stuff. it's really richly pigmented. Oh, it's really, More so really than the pigmented. chalk buckets we're buying. Oh, right. yeah. So okay. let me see. Love I actually it. brought a little bit of paper here so you can kind of see the difference. Um, <clears throat> so let's do like a purple okay. or red something. Um, I mean, it is like oh, really strong that. colors, which also is very exciting for me. Oh, it's a little dirty. Very nice. Oh, that, but that adds to the, yeah, I love and that. And like, because, um, you know, the Crayola chalk, it's really so a little bit dull. These are professional level very highly pigmented Eternity. and these are these have a nickname for being called butter chalk Ooh, online yeah, they, uh, they're I very soft they move like butter on <clears> the paper yes and i also use for like smaller details you can okay. use soft pastels soft mm -hmm. pastels are just fine to use on on pavement these are two different kinds of soft pastels you can buy either one of these at like hobby lobby and stuff but these are basically the same thing it's just a higher quality um kind of yeah. chalk also more more pigmented than what you would get from um like the crayola kids box which are also good i actually do use crayola but uh chalk yeah, sometimes for outlines are, and mm -hmm. stuff but uh this stuff will stick a little bit more intensely okay. and, and the colors are and bright. And you can use fixatives like, yeah. and different things. I actually to kind use of make hairspray. Hairs oh, good. That's a great 
Tip. I use hairspray. That's Everyone's so confused the same when thing I finish that you're my. Spending ten dollars for it. Yeah, that's yes. labeled fixative, right? I use hairspray. <laughs> Are there other um, mediums that you mix in that you work with the chalk, or is it strictly do you work with all chalk? Yes, I use uh, temper paint sometimes for like the base layer, often oh. because it creates, it gets in all the little cracks, and it gives you a little tooth. To nice. It yeah, it it kind of primes it a little bit nicer because if I were to try to. Let's say I have a really rough ground, and I'm trying to like cover the whole thing in just chalk. My my fingers get <laughs> really, really rough, yeah. so I can actually paint with temper paint. I mix a little bit of water and um, so dish soap into the temper paint before Ooh. I put it on the ground. That helps it wash away with the rain a lot easier. Oh, that's another great tip. <laughs> I hope you're taking notes at home. <laughs> I actually, well, I mean, <laughs> if, you, if you want notes, I actually did write a uh, workbook, and it has all of all of these things that I'm talking about in here, little details. Um. Let's hold it up for a minute so oh. they can kind of see. And you make this available so people can order this off your website, yes, correct? Yes, it's on my website. It's on Amazon. Okay. Um, you can find it through my website. It's just, it's just on Amazon. You so can get it on Kindle. So it just has all kinds of different tips and yes. things on how to work with chalk and all, all of the things. beginner things that Way you want to know. Way beyond just the few know. little nuggets you've already shared oh, with yes. us. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is great. I love that. Yeah. You're always so generous to share, you know, because I yeah, try to be. We, we like to spread it around. I have a I have a mentality that I share everything that I have. Like I don't hold anything back because honestly, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't have people sharing. Uh, people were right. sharing yes. with yes. me. I I don't know why artists hold back. I, I'm not in competition with other right, artists. Right. I want them That's to right. know what I know. Share what we know <laughs> and we learn. So and yeah. another thing that you do, in addition to the, um, your mm -hmm. beautiful chalk art uh, and your paintings and so forth, we'll, we'll kind of talk about that here in a minute. But I want to focus on just your the journaling that you mm. do and uh, how, you've got some great tips and things for people at home that maybe want to play around with a little bit of it and we could add it to our work life. Yes. We can add just a little 10 minute creative exercise Yay. each day. Lots of day. And I love uh, the examples <laughs> that you've brought in. Beautiful. Uh, well, I've been getting into it. It's kind of called like sketch noting or like visual mm -hmm. note taking. And um, it can be really simple or it can be kind of complicated. I thought I would do like a short little demo here. I've yeah, got uh, myself a little it. whiteboard. Okay. Um, I have a planner. I'm such a planner person. And now and I just I, stay off to the side if possible just so we yes. don't touch. So can you yeah. see? All right. Um, so I have a couple of, ex of examples up here of things that I've even done on my sticky notes that I actually put okay. in my planner. So I thought I would show probably my favorite one. The to-do list. If you want to make a to-do list. We all can relate to the to-do <laughs> list and we can make it better looking. It can be pretty. And it's funny because you don't think a to-do list needs to be beautiful. But if you do make it beautiful, you're like more likely to um, get excited about get doing excited it. Get excited and be We're happy. more engaged with it when we draw it out. And I mean, it's it looks complicated, but honestly, it's just simple boxes, and it like shapes. It's like a rectangle here, really a rectangle them. here. This is step by step. <laughs> I just figured I would go through it real can, quick. And then you can kind of do, have fun with it, the same thing with your grocery list yes, as well. Yes, I do it with my grocery list. I do it with my to-do list. Um, anything that I can really, uh, you know, beautify sort of with just simple notes. And I do little doodles in my And are you working planner. in a sketchbook like this? Um, just kind of plain pages and just regular markers, pens. Talk about some of the utensils and things that you work with. I, well, this is my planner. Uh, this is the passion planner. I highly recommend yeah. it. This is like my I don't I can't live without it <laughs> um, I actually use and, it's and by doing it this way talk about how this brings your ideas and just things the things that you're working on um, <laughs> How it really brings them to life uh, So even in the back so. of my planner I put a lot of things that are like my like what I want to do to advance my life or make my life better So mm -hmm. like this is actually my reading list this is my reading list for the year. Yeah, I've done it like as a, like a like bookshelf. Books on a shelf. You know, I was, it's not that complicated. It's not like I worked a million years to draw books out. It's just it's just rectangles. I think like, oh, I have to have artistic <laughs> And then I wrote the, yeah, you don't really have to. It's just rectangles in some boxes, but I arranged it, and then I just highlight the books when I'm done. So it's like a visual of what I can see, and I feel accomplished, too, when I can. It's kind of that same thing, like, Che you know, yeah. having a checklist, you sometimes you write your, the thing that you wanted to or didn't even have on your checklist just so you can check it off yeah. so you feel better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so it's like that too. So it's a visual. And it's a different experience than when we do it on our digital devices. Yeah. And I know you're I... even using, like, this is, is this, uh, look at this beautiful <laughs> little entry. <laughs> so this is actually, um, woo, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a journaling that I do in a Bible. 
So a, a lot of my uh, artwork is inspired by my faith mm -hmm. walk. And um, these, I, I got this Bible specifically to paint in. So there's other entries that are like, okay, this scripture right now or this moment Speaks is really to speaking to me and I need to remember this for the future. So um, sometimes journaling or making art is just for me. It's not like... I'm making a piece that I'm necessarily going to sell because everything in here I'm not you know I'm not selling this, this journal. This is just for your this is just yeah, for my and, personal and, and life. A beautiful way to yes. kind of exercise your creativity. Oh, yes. uh, I love all of this. Now if people want to get more information about um, just the art that you do. I know you very you know with sharing you have your workbook that's available on your website. Mm -hmm. Is that the best place for, for people to go? Yeah. Okay. KathleenRollingArt.com. Visit her online. Look at that beautiful 3D uh, chalk art that she does. She's also going to be speaking, remind everybody again, uh, tomorrow night at the North River Arts Council uh, monthly program uh, starting at 7. It's $5 for non-members um, at the Carlisle Rec Center there at 1220 South 5th Street. Uh, you're going to share some more of your inspiring works and information. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming in today and sharing with all that you know, or some of it, not all <laughs> that you know, but I love the chalk tips and everything because that's what it's all about, sharing those ideas. Thank so, you for having work. me. You want to stay tuned. We have more to come.